What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to flash a 2020 to 2022 F250 or F350 power stroke. Today we'll be using an AMDP programmer from Canada on this 21 Tremor Edition F250. You will have to disconnect the batteries to safely work on it in the meanwhile because we'll be disconnecting the three connectors on the PCM over there on the passenger side. Once you disconnected the batteries, you can depress this tab right here and that's going to allow you to move the cam lock up and you can gently remove it. You will do the same with all three connectors right here on the firewall and just move them out of the way because you're only going to use the first slot. So this is the AMDP programmer that allows you to essentially bench flash your truck without sending your ECM out to Canada. Now you have to hook up the cables here to the batteries, make sure your polarity is correct. I can't emphasize how crucial that is. And then you'll hook up the cable over here to the AMDP programmer. Once you have everything connected, you will get your harness side connector and plug it into the first slot on the PCM. Make sure to be gentle to not break the tabs and then you can depress the cam lock and make sure it's secure. Once you have everything hooked up, you can bring your laptop out here. I'm moving over to this side for some shade, and then I'll show you how to run the programming on this. If you haven't done so already, you should have gotten a link with your AMDP programmer to download this auto flasher software. That's gonna allow you to obviously flash the truck. If you open up the application, you'll see that there's a lack of information here that you'll need for your tuning, and I'm gonna show you how to get that information. First, you'll have to go to cable and press connect, and you'll see that you now have a cable serial number. You'll wanna write that down for later. And now you can go to bench, and then you'll power on, and it should say powering on module. If it does, you can move on to the next part. Once the module is powered on, you can go to bench and then press identify. And this is gonna give you the rest of the information, which is the ECU serial number and ID. And then you'll need the VIN number off the door and you'll submit all this information to your tune writer at AMDP so they can send you a new bin file to flash onto the PCM. Once you get your tune file from your tune rider, you can go back to the truck and start the process again. We're going to go to cable, connect, then you'll go to bench and you're going to power on once again. Now that uh, the module is powered on, we're going to go to bench and we're going to go to identify. That's going to bring up the serial number and guarantee that we're communicating with the PCM. Now that you're communicating with the PCM, you can go to bench and you're gonna go to write and you should have your file downloaded already. So we're gonna go to the download section right here. We'll get our new bin file. This is a shift on the fly file with hiss because you know we like that jet life. Once you open the file, it should automatically start flashing um, or running the script in a more technical sense. And it's gonna go through, I think like a hundred sections if you're reading here as a section 17, 18, 19. So it's gonna take like a good 10 minutes before it finishes up. Just make sure to keep an eye on it. Once it's done, you'll get a notification saying that it was successful. And if it is, you can go up here to the top where it says cable and you're gonna wanna disconnect. And you can go to the actual physical cables here on the side of the computer and start removing all the hardware. So I didn't want to bore you with putting everything back together, but obviously disconnect the cables, put the PCM connectors back, and then reconnect the batteries. Once you do so, you can go into the truck and turn it on to confirm everything worked. You can see this one starts right up and there's zero check engine lights and that's good because it's already been modified. Now we're gonna move on to transmission tuning. You can use the same programmer, but you're gonna use a different cable. This one plugs in to the OBD2 port inside the truck. First, you hook up the OBD2 cable to the port down here under the steering column. Obviously it's connected to the programmer. And from there, you hook up the USB cable to your laptop. With the key in the on position, you'll connect the cable. And that's how it's getting its power. 
you'll go to OBD and press identify and select TCU because we want to get the TCU serial number. You can see this one's different than the one from before. And you'll also need to go to the OBD tab right here and you can press get VIN and this is going to give you all the information you need to send to your tune writer for TCM tuning. Once you get your tune files from your tune writer back, we're going to do like we did before, key on so the module gets power. You go to cable and you press connect and then you'll have to go to OBD and press identify so we make sure we're communicating with the TCU directly. Once you have everything set up, you can go to OBD and we're going to go to write. And you should have gotten two files from your tune writer. The first one's a cam reset and the next one's the actual tuning. First, we're going to reset the keep alive memory and essentially make this tranny a blank slate. And then we'll, we'll be able to throw on the, the new transmission tuning. I'm not going to bore you with it flashing for 10 minutes, but you can see here it's almost done and it's successful right here. Once it's done, you'll be able to go to disconnect and make sure everything's cleared out. And we're going to start fresh so we can tune it with the actual TCM tuning file. So once again, you'll go to OBD, identify, make sure you're talking to the TCU and then go to write. And we're going to pick the other file that the writer sent us. Once it's done flashing, you can go to cable and press disconnect and you're done. You can literally close the app, shut your laptop off and take out all the cables and go on your first test drive. Thanks for watching our video on how to flash your 2020 to 2022 six, seven power stroke. If you have any questions on how to use the device further or how to reload it with new credits so you can use it on another vehicle, Feel free to message me or get in contact with AMDP directly. Laters.